Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution and today we're going to do some benchmarking between the Nexus 6 and the Sony Z Ultra. Now the Nexus 6 is a new device. It came out last year, 2014 and the Sony Z Ultra had been out for a couple of years now. The Nexus, Nexus 6 had the Snapdragon 805. The Sony Z Ultra has a Snapdragon 800. So we're gonna run some benchmarks to see who's the fastest. We're gonna run Untutu. Now the Sony Z Ultra been out for a while. It's a great phone, it's my go-to tablet. Um, and it's a great device. So let's run this test. Both of them running about neck and neck. Wow, that's running. Let's look at the size comparison. Six inch phone, 6.44 inch phone. Let's see, put them together. As you can see, the Sony Z Ultra is way bigger than the Nexus 6. Let's look at the sides. The Sony Z Ultra is slimmer than the Nexus 6. custom skin on the Sony Z Ultra and I do have a case on the Nexus 6 beautiful skin on the back let's look at them The Sony Z Ultra has a great screen. The Nexus 6 running very fluent, no hiccups. Sony Z Ultra, look at that, running like a champ. The Sony Z Ultra is great for gaming. No problems at all. Look at it run. For a Snapdragon 800 processor, it runs games great. No hiccuping, no nothing. It's a great device. All right, the Nexus 6 is done. We have a Antutu benchmark score of 49748. Get that in there. Okay, and look at the Sony Z Ultra, it's 39845, let's get that in there, okay, compare these side by side, so the next benchmark we're going to run is Quadrant, let's go ahead and clear it out. We're going to run full benchmark. Make sure that this device is up high. And we're going to run it at one, two, three. I got the Sony Z Ultra at full brightness. Tend to be on the dark side, but the screen is great. 
I got the Nexus, Nexus 6 at half bright. And look at that. It's running 46 to 47 frames per second. The Sony Z Ultra is running about 40 frames per, sec per second. Okay. Here we go. Let's look at both devices. Sony Z Ultra 24101. Nexus 6 is 13291. Wow. Let's look at that again. 24101 and 13. Two nine one. Double running lollipop. Make sure everybody can see this. Running Android five point zero point two and running Android five point one. Lollipop. Okay. So we're going to run Geekbench 3. Again, here we go. Some system information. The Nexus 6. Quad core 2.65 gigahertz. 3 gigs of RAM. Adreno 420. Sony Z Ultra. Android 5.0.2, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, it's clocked at 2.1, Adreno 330, 2 gigs of RAM. Okay. So let's run this. At 3, 2, 1, bam. Let's see. The battery life on both devices. Uh, about what what I'm getting a little more battery life out of the Nexus 6 versus the Sony Z Ultra All right, both of them is done here So a Geekbench score of 1054 single core and 3016 multi-core Okay, and the Snapdragon 800 on the Sony Z Ultra is 903 2716 not a bad score and our last and final test Clear the cache. Could be 3D Mark. The Nexus, the Nexus 6 is, is, is a little warm. The Sony Z Ultra is okay. It's pretty cool. Not so bad. 3D Mark. Okay. Ah, not so bad. Not really that hot. I have a case on this one, and it's a. Uh, it's pretty warm. Okay. We're gonna do the unlimited, the, the Ice Storm Unlimited. Okay, we're gonna run it in three, two, one. This is real intensive here, and it's gonna take the both, both the phones to the limit. I'm getting about 60 frames per second out of both devices. Both devices getting about 60 frames per second. The Sony Z Ultra is getting about 60. It went up to 70 frames per second. Wow, the Sony Z Ultra is feeling the Nexus 6 right now.
The Sony Z Ultra is getting about 70 frames per second. And the Nexus 6 is getting about 50, looking at about 50 to 60 frames per second. The Sony Z Ultra is getting about 69, 69 frames per second. And the ne Nexus 6 is getting about, even dropped down to 30. It's getting up there. This is weird. Snapdragon 805. No skips, no hops. Snapdragon 800 was a great chipset. Ah, we crashed. Wow. We crashed on the Sony Z Ultra. That's right, the Sony Z Ultra crashed. So we're going to end this right now. We're not going to let this run. Because obviously the Sony Z Ultra crashed. See the temperature. The Nexus 6 is very, very, very hot. Hot. Sony Z Ultra, cool. It's a little warm, but I mean it is cool. All right, there you have it. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on what you think about this benchmark. Nexus 6, Sony Z Ultra. You have a good day. Bye-bye.